I'm going to switch over to KSWR Working Papers. And I want to say, what is mapping? To answer this question, we're going to look at the SAMP01 file that's installed with KSWR Working Papers. Now, I've already opened that file. As you can see, I'm in SAMP01 across the top here. The default sample mapping database can be found by selecting Engagement and choosing Mapping. Now, mapping numbers are like a standard chart of accounts with all the applicable properties, for example, lead sheet groupings, tax linkages, and so on. These are pre-assigned to the map numbers. Mapping numbers can serve the following important functions. By simply matching an account from a client-specific chart of accounts to a corresponding map number, all the properties of that map number are auto-filled for the specific account. In addition to being significantly faster than applying properties to each of the client's accounts, this method ensures consistency and accuracy over all files. For example, in my sample mapping database, map number 111 is cash, and cash will be lead sheet A in all of my files that are using this mapping database. The use of wildcards to link a range of common accounts can also be utilized with map numbers. Although the client's account numbering scheme may not be organized in a useful manner, the mapping number scheme can be made systematic. For example, 111 could mean all cash accounts where any of the map numbers from 111 through 111.900 have any client accounts assigned, and it would total them together. So we just use, again, 111 with an asterisk beside it to pull that information together. Also, templates can be created so that every component is completely independent of the client's account structure. All templates can then be used without modification for any clients that are using the default mapping numbers. Although optional, its correct usage as a standard within a firm can greatly increase productivity and integrity in the performance of bookkeeping, compilation, and review engagements.